okay now we will do a very interesting problem this is a pendulum you have a string and there's a bob at the end of the string this is the path on which the bob can move so suppose you have given some displacement to this bob so you have moved the bob to this point and then you let it go so the bob the the pendulum will go have a to and fro motion now the question is that what will be the graph between the tension in the string and the time so i'm giving you four options and you tell me which one of the four is correct the first option tension is constant with respect to time the fourth option is tension increases decreases linearly it increases decreases linearly with time c option it increases decreases increases decreases with the value it doesn't become zero at any point of time and option number d it goes up and down tension becomes positive negative and also becomes zero like this so you tell me which one is the correct option think about it give reasons don't just keep on guessing write some equations and from equations you see you show yourself the proof that from the equation you are getting this option the answer of course would be c let's discuss how see i'm drawing the fbd when you draw the fbd at any position suppose at any intermediate stage this is angle theta one force is tension and the other force is mg there is no third force on the bob the bob is undergoing circular motion that means the net force radially inward should be equal to mv square by r right this we have learned the centripetal force is mv square upon r and the centripetal force is directing towards the center so this tension minus mg cos theta this is centripetal force isn't it and mg sin theta is the tangential force now centripetal force is equal to mv square upon r m and r are constant velocity keeps on increasing right now as the time passes what would happen is this component mg cos theta is going to increase and when it comes here the entire portion which is against the tension is mg so the force which is against the tension keeps on increasing this mg cos theta component keeps on increasing and uh, right hand side also keeps on increasing so what would happen is tension should keep on increasing because if tension doesn't increase tension should increase and then what is being subtracted from tension it is also being increased and even then the difference of that is also increasing that means tension should increase at a higher rate so tension at from this point should start increasing when you come here then that is the point at which the velocity is maximum and the component of mg against tension is also maximum so this is the point at which the tension would be maximum as you go on the other side then the component of mg starts to decrease velocity velocity also starts to decrease so the tension should also starts to decrease but at no point tension will be zero because even when at the top the velocity momentarily will become zero before coming down right hand side will become zero so left hand side should also be zero so left hand side is zero that means t is equal to mg cos theta and that will not be zero so tension should not become zero and forget about being negative there is no meaning of negative tension so this graph is absurd the tension will not go on negative side tension will not become even zero at any point of time and that will not happen linearly as you can see from the graph because velocity is not increasing right hand side is not increasing linearly it is mv square upon r so you'll have a it's a second degree so it will not happen linearly it will have some curvature like this so option number c is the right option okay okay
okay now a particle is having a circular motion the radius of the circle is 1.5 meter suppose now it is having in, in a, the motion is being done in a horizontal plane and that horizontal plane is a lifted one so the height of the horizontal plane in which the motion is happening the height from the ground is suppose uh, 2 meter okay now what happens is suddenly the string breaks suppose the bob there's the, there was the particle tied to the string and it was move, having a horizontal motion and suddenly the string breaks so what would happen is the, it, the motion was in a horizontal plane and at any point of time if the string breaks then it will have the velocity which it, it had and it will st also start to come down because the velocity would be in a horizontal plane the, the velocity in the vertical direction would be zero so it will start to come down and also cover some distance by the virtue of that horizontal velocity okay so the what is given is before hitting the ground it travels a horizontal distance of 10 meter right so they are asking what was the centripetal acceleration before the string was cut before the string was broken when it was doing undergoing a uniform circular motion then what was the centripetal acceleration so it's a good problem very conceptual basic problem so try your hand on this and see what you are getting the answer to this would be that centripetal acceleration will come out as 0 0.45 meter per second square right the calculation might not have been very easy but you know the calculations are not always very easy nevertheless the acceleration is 0 0.45 meter per second square let's see how we're going to get this see when it is going to when the string is cut then it is starting with zero velocity in vertical direction so it is at a height of two meters so the time taken to come down you can very easily see will be 2h upon g the time taken to come down if you put all the data here you'll come to a value close to 0 0.64 seconds this is the time it would take to come down and from the experience of projectile motion you would know that if this is the time to come down then the horizontal in the horizontal direction there is no force now after the string is cut it is just mg which is vertically downward so horizontal in the horizontal direction there is no force so horizontal velocity is not going to change so the horizontal distance will be simply horizontal velocity into time right the so distance is given time you have calculated so the velocity tangential velocity which it had can be calculated from here it will come out as 15.63 meter per second okay and finding tangential centripetal acceleration is easy from here that is v squared upon r you know v you have calculated and r was given so you can do it you'll get 0 0.45 meter per second square